Hello everyone! Para sa video na to, we will be solving for our first solved problem para sa quotient rule of differentiation. When we talk about quotient rule of differentiation, we let u and b be functions of x. Kapag kakinukuha natin yung quotients nila, we have u over v, yung u yung nasa numerator, tapos yung function naman natin na v yung nasa denominator, then getting their derivative, this is just equal to, we copy our denominator yung nasa baba na v times the derivative of our numerator u minus, kukopyahin naman natin yung nasa taas na u times the derivative of our denominator v and then this is all over the square of our denominator v. On an easier note, we can say that this is we have the low times derivative of high minus high times derivative of low all over low squared. Now, let us apply this on our example. We have y is equal to 5 over 3x plus 4. Madali lang naman siya kasi yung nasa numerator natin is simply a constant. Applying our quotient rule of differentiation, we have dy over dx. This is equal to, ang u natin ay yung nasa taas ng numerator. We have our u that is equal to 5. Tapos ang v naman natin ay yung nasa denominator natin na 3x plus 4. Then we use our formula. Kuhanin natin si v, yung nasa baba, low. We have 3x plus 4 here. We write it down, times, multiply natin dun sa derivative nung nasa taas, derivative of u, derivative of 5. So, we write down here, multiply natin siya sa derivative nung 5. And then, following the formula, this is minus. Ang kukopyahin naman natin ay yung nasa taas, we have 5. So, minus 5 times derivative naman nung nasa baba natin na 3x plus 4. So, we get the derivative of our denominator that is 3x plus 4. Then, okay na tayo dun sa taas na part ng ating formula. Then, this is all over our denominator v, yung 3x plus 4, tapos kukuhanin natin yung square niya. So, we have 3x plus 4, and then squared. Now that we have this one, i-apply na lang natin yung derivative, tapos simplify natin siya algebraically. So, following this, this is just equal to using our basic rules of differentiation. Kopyahin muna natin to. We have 3x plus 4, and then times, derivative of 5, derivative of a constant is just equal to 0. Kaya eto, if we get the derivative of 5, since this is only a constant, this is just equal to 0. Then minus 5, tapos kuhanin natin yung derivative ng 3x plus 4. Since they are separated by addition, pwede natin kuhanin yung derivative ng 3x sa kanong 4 ng magkahiwalay. So doing that, i-pull out muna natin yung 3, we have 3. Tapos yung x, meron tayong exponent na 1. By applying our derivative of a power or power rule of differentiation, that is just equal to, ang derivative with respect to x ng x raised to n is just equal to, ibababa lang natin yung exponent, so this is n, x, tapos yung exponent ay babawasan natin ng isa. So ganun ang gagawin natin dito. Since we have an exponent of 1, ibababa lang natin siya, so we have 3 times 1, Tapos, yung exponent natin na 1 ay babawasan natin ng isa by this formula. So, we have 1 minus 1. Tapos na tayo kay 3x. Then, we do the same operation plus. Tapos, kukuhanin naman natin yung derivative ng 4. Same as our previous one. Since ang 4 is just a constant, the derivative of a constant is just equal to 0. Kaya this is plus 0. Then, we follow. This is all over the denominator still. 3x plus 4. Iiwan na lang natin siya ng Ganito. Then, simplify na lang natin yun nasa numerator. Since we are multiplying by 0, 3x plus 4 times 0, this is just equal to 0. So, eto na lang yung isisimplify natin. So, we have here, this is equal to negative 5 times 3 times 1 is just 3. Tapos, eto naman, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, this is x raised to 0, plus 0 na lang naman, kaya okay na siya. This is all over 3x plus 4, and then raised to 2. Since we have a 0 exponent here, x raised to 0, this is just equal to 1. By applying our loss of exponent, so we can simplify this, this is just equal to negative 5 times 3 times 1, that is just equal to 3, all over 3x plus 4, and then squared. Tapos for our last step, we have negative 5 times 3, this is just equal to negative 15, this is all over our denominator that is 3x plus 4 and then squared. 
This is the value of our derivative dy over dx. With this, we were able to use our quotient rule of differentiation para makuha yung derivative ng ating function. This is it for our first example. See you on our example number two.